Now, Jupiter has this massive, powerful gravity field. A comet nucleus is a very friable, it's not a strongly bound object yeah. like an iron asteroid. Shoemaker-Levy 9 passed within the Roche limit of Jupiter. The really powerful gravity field of Jupiter ripped it apart, and what had been one nucleus broke into 21 separate objects. Those 21 separate objects then began to spread out in a so-called string of pearls, and that made one orbit around the sun, came back out and crossed, intersected the orbit of Jupiter at precisely the time Jupiter was there. Most likely what had been happening is, you know, it had been orbiting Jupiter dozens if not hundreds of times, and every time getting a little closer, every time it went out there it was drawn in a little tighter. We discovered it right at that point where it was making its final passage. It may have made dozens of passages before that. I think the second week of July 1994, those 21 pieces impacted Jupiter. Impacted Jupiter. Yes, and, that, and, and that was six, one of them. And that like was 600 times the entire yes. nuclear arsenal on Earth in terms of its destructive force. And uh, what's kind of worrying is I looked at the NASA DART mission, and you know that was a, a spacecraft. I think it was knocking into Dimorphos, which was uh, yeah, and Dimorphos, which is actually two objects. That's why it's two. Di means two. Right. right.